What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today, we are back with another daily market update. Make sure that you're following me on Twitter before we hop into this. We're going to talk about BTC altcoins, a new coin that I'm seeing a lot of money flow into. We've got Quant. We've got YXRP will absolutely skyrocket all in this video. So make sure you're following on Twitter right there. Also, make sure you're subscribed to NFT Mason. We're almost about to hit 10,000 subscribers here. You know, support has been insane on these last couple videos. I'm going to take over the NFT space and it's going to be amazing. Now, let's get into the market. 1.88 trillion right we're hanging out above that 40k for bitcoin still got rejected off the 42,000 uh 42,600 here perfectly rejected right if you change to hiking as or change off hiking as she you perfectly see got rejected off that but the rest of the market like ethereum is still doing good almost almost above 3,000 there 2,927 dollars I'm seeing a lot of people accumulating BNB. We're going to look at crypto meter in a second and see what people have been buying. Terra Luna. I saw some FUD from crypto banter on Terra Luna. They were calling it a Ponzi, I believe. Um, or maybe I was dreaming last night. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is what the market is looking like. If we sort by the top gainers, we see Convex Finance, man. I am bullish on Convex Finance for the DeFi 2.0 narrative. The DeFi 2.0 narrative. Dash, I'm not really a fan of. Then we've got Algorand right here up 6.94%. Aave, Pancake Swap. Pancake Swap is actually a really good buy, to be honest. Like, if you look at this, this is like, that's bottomed out, bro. Like, look at that. $6, and this thing has been to $42. That is a good purchase, in my opinion. Like, that is a good, good one to start stacking um especially if any type of meme coin season picks up again pancake swap will be rocketing um so here's some more bitcoin analysis right here if bitcoin can successfully so we've been covering this matthew highland this is like the general consensus right 40 uh forty thousand three hundred dollars is the support forty two thousand six hundred uh dollars is this resistance right here we got rejected by that right and now we're bouncing around in this range this right now is the perfect time to be learning about support and resistance because that's all bitcoin is doing bouncing between between these uh levels right <clears throat> moving um moving on to crypto meter right here uh we got the net flow of volume we see on the one day you have usdc srm right alpaca why are people buying alpaca there's a lot of USDT going into Alpaca. Now, let's check out what the heck that is. Alpaca Finance. There must be something about this. Like, look at that chart. Absolutely trash chart right there. Um, rank 469. 65 million market cap. No idea why people are buying that. Um, and then I also saw, I guess this updated, but I also saw this project, Stepin. Not sponsored at all, but this is a... Um, a project built on Solana. I was shown this a couple, a few days ago, but then I saw it again and people were accumulating it on here. I believe I saw it on like the one hour, maybe. I think it, it was on here though, GMT. And you can see this is like, um, if you guys know Sweatcoin, Sweatcoin was like an app where like you run and you make money. Like you get p played in coins or you get paid in coins. Um, so this is like the web three version of that. It's like very interesting stuff. Uh, you can look how to play, choose a sneaker that fits your fitness level. You can only, you only earn when you have an NFT sneaker and move outdoors with GPS, right? So you need an NFT sneaker, find a sneaker from the in-app marketplace, sneaker detail page equip. So kind of an interesting project here. I don't know how good the coin is going to do it, it it has been doing amazing right this is 10 cents to 76 cents 
just in the past 10 days. Oh my goodness, right? That is insane. That's a 7X in the past 10 days. That could continue. Who knows? Moving on, why is Ripple going or why is XRP going to rocket, folks? We know this already. Ripple settlement may trigger the XRP price to skyrocket. But this is coming from an FX Open executive, Natalia Zakharova uh, from FX Open, the leading retail and institutional FX broker, um, told Finance Feed that Ripple is expected to either win or the case be settled in Ripple's favor. Okay. Uh, she also said that there is most definitely a possibility of its value ac accelerating dramatically, right? She's talking about XRP there. So XRP will absolutely rocket when a uh, settlement or a win happens. Um, with the recent Coinbase lawsuit, if you guys saw that, I covered that yesterday. Coinbase was sued for 79 unregistered securities and one thing we noticed was Bitcoin. Let's actually pull that up. Was Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin and Ether were not on there, right? Of course, Bitcoin is not a security. You can't you can't deem that a security at all. Um, but they were selling 79 unregistered securities, including XRP, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, right? Ethereum is not on this list. Do you know how BS that is? So Ethereum, it's confirmed that they have the free pass. Even the people who are suing Coinbase for unregistered securities think that Ethereum is not a security, right? So one thing people noticed was uh, Bitcoin and Ether were not included on there. HBAR was also not, even though HBAR is not on Coinbase. QNT is right there. So they're literally calling QNT an unregistered security. Um, but what this proves is that this settlement with XRP is... The, the stakes are as high as we think they are. It is a high stakes lawsuit, okay? Because all of these are at risk. All of these are at risk. If XRP is deemed a security, like any of these can be deemed a security because XRP is sufficiently decentralized, right? Um, if you know what you're talking about, XRP is actually operationally decentralized even more than Bitcoin. Right. So if th if they deem XRP a security, then all of these more centralized ones like Solana, they're going to be at risk. Right. Moving on to some more Ripple news right here. John Deaton and Bill right here. Bill is pointing out that one of Australia's major four banks openly states on its website that it is partnering with Canada CIBC. That's a massive bank in Canada using Ripple's blockchain technology. So the 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 Australian bank is called NAB, N-A-B, um, and they say, we're excited to be working with CIB, CIBC and have already partnered with them in using Ripple's blockchain technology to complete international payment transfers between our banks as a proof of concept. Proof of concept, right? Proof of concept. So not anything official yet. It's They're proving the concept. Um, and then they also say, we believe that the technology has the potential to not only deliver real-time international payments, but also improve security and efficiency of our payment systems. Okay? Facts. It is revolutionary. Okay? And CIBC is massive here. I don't bank with CIBC, but they're massive here. That is some very good news for, um, for Ripple right there. All we want them to do is turn on the ODL switch on-demand liquidity we want them to start using xrp to do it right and then we'll see massive spikes in volume i can't believe john deaton still does not follow me by the way just a side note crazy there's some people in the xrp community that don't follow me and i'm just like wow like i've been following you for a long time like jeremy hogan and stuff interesting but maybe it's because i also tell the truth about xrp and i tell the negative about xrp as well Moving on, Goldman Sachs, Galaxy Digital announced milestone over-the-counter crypto trade. Basically, Goldman Sachs has is the first major U.S. bank to trade crypto over-the-counter, okay? The bank traded a Bitcoin-linked instrument called a non-deliverable option with crypto merchant bank Galaxy Digital. 
this is a this move is a notable step in the development of crypto markets for institutional investors so institutional like the the what did, how did they put it let me see uh the development yeah the development the development of how institutions are going to trade crypto is is still in its baby form once that becomes even more mature we'll see a, a a crazy amount of money also some people think that you don't need regulations i saw a tiktok somebody saying you don't need more regulations in the space for big money to come in and it is true to an extent but you're not going to get the entire fiat system coming over here if you don't have a regulated environment and by the way crypto is already regulated it's already regulated we just need to clear out some of these like 18,000 unregistered securities sitting there right that's how they're thinking i don't want to clear these right i don't want to clear these out i want there to be a hundred million cryptos with no regulations i want no regulations right but they will come and then all the money will come as well moving on we got blockworks u.s treasury official says we just don't see that crypto could be used in a large-scale way to evade sanctions that is hurting warren right there and somebody put that right here that is hurting elizabeth warren right there so they don't see that crypto could be used in a large-scale way the reason they don't see this is because the liquidity and lack of adoption and the transparency of the blockchain why would you do something illegal right with a ton of money in a, on a public ledger it's stupid why would you evade sanctions with possibly tens of billions of dollars um on a public ledger why would you do that right so lack of liquidity transparency of the blockchain and lack of adoption are contributing there uh we have india making it harder to use crypto in their in their country india bans offsetting loss on one crypto with a gain from another so you can't offset um you can't offset your loss and gains right they, they they i don't know why they're doing that like why don't these places accept it more i guess they do not like this um interesting there then the final thing we'll end off with quant ceo is going to address global cbdc implementation at ft's digital assets summit next month we will i will be watching the clips that come out of this hopefully somebody records this he's going to be addressing global cbdc implementation uh, which is massive. So that is what we've got for the daily market update. Like Crypto Wendy said the other day, this has been the most boring 70 days of Bitcoin. The most boring 70 days of Bitcoin, just ranging. The market is so boring. That's why you got to get on the NFT channel. Like we've been making some money on the NFT channel as well. Um, like that market is popping up a little bit stronger than crypto right now um but that is all we've got make sure you follow on instagram and twitter those are my handles right there join the telegram group i love every single one of you and goodbye Crow.